I would describe neuromorphic computing as trying to make our computers think and process more like brains process. So taking the actual operation of brains and putting that into silicon. The inspiration for neuromorphic computing goes back really all the way to the first earliest days of computing itself. If you look at the early papers by von Neumann and Alan Turing, they actually talk about neurons and axons and synapses because back in the 40s, they hadn't invented the terminology of conventional computing and the brain was the one example that they had. At the very basic level, neuromorphic computing is throwing out everything we think we know about computers and processors and computing in general and looking at how biological brains compute. Computers now execute very precisely defined instruction sets. Brains compute in very different ways. They compute in a structural dynamic manner. So it's the interaction of these living organism cells. And so that's much more what we're trying to harness and replicate in the types of neuromorphic chips that we're designing. The brain operates at 20 watts, which you think about a light bulb, it's less than a light bulb of power. Everything we do, simultaneously processing data streams and creatively thinking about new ideas and insights, that's all being done at 20 watts of power. So neuromorphic systems will solve problems that involve interacting with real-world data in time. So speech and video, robotics, where you're moving things through space in time and responding to external events, especially where there's unexpected adaptation that's required. I think in terms of more near-term applications, what you'll see in four, five-year time frame, you'll start to see neuromorphic chips in smart factories where we have robotic deployments today. So we may be able to apply neuromorphic intelligence to make these robots assemble a little more smarter. So that's really the inspiration is to figure that out and to find what are the principles, what are the ideas that nature has developed over a billion years of evolving brains and taking that and putting that in chips.